Well, all right. Welcome back to another segment of Let's, Let's Talk, Talk About, about it. it. I'm Brother RJ, and this is the esteemed Brother Jerome Wright, that minister of the gospel himself. And we coming to back today to you guys to talk about what's been going on on today in service. And I'm talking about the word was Awesome, yes, but first was. we gonna we we, we we gonna start off like this. Now y'all know how we doing. Let's talk about it. We gonna start from the beginning. We gonna run it through, and then we gonna hit the end. We gonna recap exactly what went what went down and what you may have missed if you weren't in the house. Amen. So start off with that prayer. Yes, always. You Ooh. know we are praying church, and uh, and, and the, these people that are praying. Brothers and the sisters that are praying, they are, they are awesome. They have dedicated mm. themselves to a life of prayer, and it just was phenomenal. And Man, then the praise, praise and worship. Blaze. I mean, Man, what can I say, listen. RJ? All, all I can say is if you sat at home watching it, 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 there's no way you can get the same. Well, I mean, we can't even, really you can't even fathom yeah. when, no. you, when, you were, when you were at home versus you're in service. Because praise and worship, man, it's like, you know, you you usher in God's presence, you know what I'm saying, to have you ready right. to hear that word. And that praise and worship, man, I'm talking about it set the atmosphere, man. It was it it, it was there. And I'm like, you know what? Let's sometimes you just want to just make it, give, give me keep singing a few more songs. Right. Because right. it just be right. so that much anointed on it. Right. And you're like, oh, but then when the word come, you know. That, that's like the Mike Tyson one two punch right there. Yeah. And then we had Kevin had to come up Ooh, after he Lord. came up as the minister of worship. He came up and took that thing to a whole Ooh. nother level. Man, I mean, look. it was just awesome words. Just an awesome words. It, it was and just then, awesome. You know, here we come with uh pastor with the word. And I'm talking about, you know, if you know, like you've been saying for the for the past, you know, weeks, we've been dealing with, you know what I'm saying, this this topic. The weapons of our warfare. Exactly. We've Part been dealing with that. Seven. We've been dealing with the weapons of our warfare, and today's message was unconventional warfare. Yes. Man, look at Pastor came out of Ephesians 6 and 17, where it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Mm, mm, mm. Man, hey, he was he was hitting on so many different points, but if if you know Think about that helmet of salvation for a minute. The helmet of salalvation. The right. sword. I mean, what, what he focused on was the sword. Right. That's what he was wearing the day, the sword of the spirit. He focused because last week was the helmet. This helmet. week we focusing on the right. sword of the spirit, which is the word. And so many people don't even want to hear the word of God. Yes. Yes. So many people, I mean, because think about it, you got you got so many that that, that grew up in church, mm -hmm. you know, that that, that know it's a foundation. They look at you today like you're speaking a foreign language because they don't want to hear what the word of God has to say. And, and the, you know, one of the things, uh, before I get into the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. one of the, the scriptures that keep coming, coming back over these seven different weeks mm -hmm. was uh, this the scripture in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should get advantage of us. We should know that we have an enemy. Mm -hmm. We should know who our enemy is. Satan is our enemy. For we are, and we should not be ignorant of his devices, mm -hmm. right. his schemes, the tactics that he's used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't be ignorant of them because God is exposing him right, to us, right. especially in these particular messages. That's why mm -hmm. we have a, a warfare. Mm -hmm. And Pastor has said that uh, from from the very beginning, this message all uh, is a message to call us to arm. That's it. To That's get, it. For us to be prepared to fight. Before mm -hmm. we go into a new year, you better believe the enemy is fighting hard mm -hmm. to keep us from our mandate Ooh, as Lord a church, mercy. as a local body, mm -hmm. to try to keep us from from going where God want us to go. But my God, I believe we're going to get there. Man. I believe that we're going to be equipped, totally we have to equipped we have with the arm of God. And I like this. Most of the stuff that we've been, things that we have been talking about mm -hmm. over the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. have been defensive weapons. 
Yes. But today, yes, yes, we going yes. on. The, sometimes there, I hear some coaches say some strategies in football. The best defense mm. is a good offense. That's so it. today, with the sword of the spirit, we enter into a realm where mm -hmm. we have some offensive weapons. We have. I mean, you know, and it's so important because we need to have that because the enemy gonna come at you, left and right. You know, I mean, I've I, I heard. Uh, this is this is one of the things that get me, and I, I find it so funny because you know you could be talking with somebody, and you could be talking about someone, mm -hmm. you know, it's not in a bad way, but then your phone could ring. You'd be like, "Oh, speak of the devil." Yes, you know, not, you know we do say that. <laughs> the first the first thing I think of is is, "Oh, you gonna answer it?" Yes. <laughs> what he what he say <laughs> when you pick it up? <laughs> and don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> we don't. We say some things like that. You know, and we don't we don't think about exactly what we're saying. They come traditional no. things. They just mm -hmm. came come things that we just normally were saying. That's and right. the meaning behind that, mm -hmm. oh, speak of, speak of the devil. That's it. Speak you of know, the devil. That's somebody who we don't want to be Ooh, speaking of. That's too man, much. man. We don't, man, we don't, look, we don't look. talk about And him. the thing is, do you answer when he call? And what he tell you when he, when when you pick up? Well, RJ, I I must say sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> some people answer. Some people answer him. You know, by so, the way, the things they do, mm -hmm. the, and way, the, the things way you carry yourself, say. the way you act, yeah, you you do. And the thing is, is we can't be ignorant of that. No, we can't. because you know you already know. I mean, we, we we call. I mean, so many of us call ourselves, you know, what I'm saying walking with God. But the first thing we say is, you know, what I'm saying what well, the devil told me. This the devil told me that. Okay, well, when God gonna talk to you? Yeah. You know, you know, you, that's amazing. You say that because a lot of times. We are so we're we're so quick to know, uh, or uh, to project or perceive mm -hmm. that we know what the enemy said. Exactly. But we have a hard time hearing from God. That's the first thing we turn around we, and we, say. We, yeah. we get yeah. scared when uh, we get yeah. really nervous when mm -hmm. we're not sure that God is speaking, and uh, we kind of just kind of downplay when That's God. It. But God is always speaking. Oh man, He's not trying man, to hide man, from man, us, man. RJ. Man, not he won't. He wants to reveal himself to those mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. who has a heart for him. Right, genuinely. All God right. say, all I need is just a little bit of faith. Yep, and, it, and I'm coming. And it, and it, one of the points that Pastor put out is a trick of the enemy is to paint a picture that we are missing out on something. Boy, he did Adam and Eve. That's what happened to Adam and Eve. He mm, tricked mm, them mm, to mm, say, did God really say that? He don't want you to that's be it. like, he don't want you to know. Mm -hmm. He don't want, he want, he going to be like him. He tricks us. That's, that's exactly what he does. You know, and and, yeah. and and they fell for it. Well, he fell for it. The Bible say Adam was not deceived, but whatever. There you go. Right. But that's one of, that's one of his tactics. Mm -hmm. He paint a picture. He's painting that, that picture for you. That we're missing out yeah. on something. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you, hey, you, you missing this? Let me tell you, it's what you got to do. Or your friend will call. It's how you, it's how your friends do you. Man, you should have been to the club last night. Yeah. Or you should have been here when we were doing this and doing that. Oh man, you missed it. Yeah. You know. And, and you feel so. You feel like you missed out on a golden opportunity. Right. To get in some, some junk. Right. And look at not even able to to. Like like most people, like oh, for instance, like a let's say let's say a toddler or a child, mm -hmm. and you're trying to put them to sleep, and there's so many things going on. That toddler won't go to sleep because they feel like they're missing out on something. Right. And you're trying to get them to go to sleep. You're trying to get them to, but they feel like man, it's too much going on. That's like Christmas morning coming. Ooh, man, <laughs> look. Trying to get them to go to sleep doing it. Man, look. It's the, night, it's, the night before Christmas. Yeah, you know? it's already 11 o'clock, and you're like, man, look, I'm I'm already here now. My I, uh, I got 59 more minutes. But you know, no matter what, uh, what someone perceives of the mm -hmm. devil, one thing we can be assured of that he is a liar. Oh man, most definitely, he is the father of, of lies. lies. That's it. That's According it. To John eight forty four. Mm -hmm. He's trying to uh, to get us uh, to flow in those lying spirits that he promotes. Right. And to because he want to ensnare us with lies. Mm -hmm. And not true. That's the only way. He he's very deceptive. He's a very, liar very. from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, so so that's one of his tactics. He he wants us to to operate in that. But but Jesus said, "I am the truth." That's right. Come he on. Say you shall know the truth, mm -hmm. and the truth shall make you free. That's, that's it. the only way we're gonna we're gonna be free. Is we free? We are free in the truth. The truth make us right. 
The mm-hmm. truth make us uh, who God wants us to be. Right. You That's know, it. Uh, um, when when Pilate was uh, interrogating Jesus, mm-hmm. so to speak, and Jesus said he came into this world uh, to 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 tell the truth. That's it. That's and it. Pilate say what the truth. Jesus said, looked at him. Pilate walked out and said, "I find no fault in him. You can't find, find no fault in no find truth. no fault whatsoever. None. No." None, and not in Jesus. Oh man! So, so another trick, uh, Pastor said. Another trick of the enemy is to cause us to doubt the consequences of mm-hmm, God's mm-hmm. word. And he used for an example, I believe he, he used David and Bathsheba. Right, right, David, right. David forgot. You know, he says something about when we want to do something mm-hmm. we fall into an area of deceivement mm-hmm. we forget about god we we, we do. somehow or another uh we forget about god david was declared and said according to the bible that he was a man after god's own heart right but the right. moment he laid eyes on bathsheba Ooh, the moment Lord, he mercy. lost his focus, I should say, mm-hmm. and went after Bathsheba. Hmm. God was nowhere in his mind and his thought process. God was nowhere. The only thing that was in his mind was going after Bathsheba. That's it. That's it. And and the consequences. But you know, that lets me know that we can't be so busy listening to ourselves that we can't hear God. Because like you said, how the enemy trick you and or paint these pictures for you. It, it, then, you know, you start siding with those things. Then you start listening to yourself. Mm-hmm. So we got to we gotta realize that we can't be so busy listening to ourselves or what the enemy is talking about that we can't hear from God. Right. What, what we need to do, we have to go back to the word. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah talks about. What kind of what our heart is like? The heart of a man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who mm-hmm. can know it? Right. Our heart, in its natural state, left to its own, is very deceptive. We can't. Very. We cannot depend on our own self, and 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 that's how Satan attacks us. He know that we are in this flesh. Oh yeah, he knows. He knows. He that knows this, that's in me. As Paul could say in the, to the church of Rome, in me there is no good thing. There is a law that when I would do good, mm-hmm. evil is always mm-hmm. there. Always. And just as the word declares it, guess who else knows it? The mm-hmm. enemy. The enemy, yeah, he definitely knows it. You know, it's something else that we have to realize, too, that, you know, we walk around like we're defeated. We walk around with our head down. We walk around looking sad. We walk around with all these different things because we allow him to trick us. But one of the things you have to realize is, is in order for the enemy to be able to defeat you, he has to wound you. Mm. If you allow that wound not to be healed, right? you know what I'm saying, for all these different things, in order for, in order for you to feel defeated, you know what I'm saying, he, he, first thing first, he has to wound you. It's almost like a... Um, Watching certain movies, you know what I'm saying? When somebody, they in handcuffs and, you know, they're healthy. Somebody who's up against them, they'll go wound them mm-hmm. to be able to get an advantage. Right. The only way the enemy can get an advantage, he has to wound you. Right. Now, if you go out with all your heart and your mind with the word of God and you go out fighting, he can't defeat you. No matter if he well, wounds well, you. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Come on now. You say, go out fighting. You have to go out fighting. So you got to put up a fight. You got I to. like that. I, I like that. You got because to. Because that's that's almost that's how I feel about this, mm-hmm. this walk that we in. Yeah. I, I might I get I might get knocked down. I, yeah. I might not win every battle. True. True. You know, True. And I don't. But it's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm mm-hmm. not going to yield. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop fighting. Not supposed to. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up these years uh, of uh, walking with the Lord, mm-hmm. these years of trying to do right, Come these on. years of, uh, you know, I, when and sometimes in, in, a, in a believer's walk that you try everything within your uh, spiritual, uh, your spirit being to be pleasing to God. You ever been on, on one of them trips where you just, you just made up your mind? I'm yeah. Gonna walk, I'm going to walk right. 
Uh, I might not to. walk right last you week, have to. but this week I'm going to follow every prescribed plan of God in my life. Everything that I have learned of him, mm -hmm. every scripture that I have read and I, and it's in my heart, I'm going to try. I'm going to do everything I can to walk in it. You, and, 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 and you feel you, so proud, RJ. You have to. You feel so proud when you accomplish uh, when you get delivered, when oh, when you accomplish man. something, when you fight off that temptation, yeah. when something I'm talking about, when you want that thing is really in you, that temptation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or that test or that mm -hmm, trial mm -hmm. that you that you decided to go with the word of God, what you know God won't. Uh, instead of what you want, when you ain't That's following it. yourself, when, you, when you ain't control of your faculties, when mm -hmm. you really, you know, we, you say this all the time after, after prayer, uh, they, if you walk in the spirit, you won't, you won't fulfill, fulfill the, the lust, lust of, of the flesh. flesh. I like that uh, uh, so much because that gives me a, a mindset mm -hmm. to know that I can do it. That's it. You can. You can. The thing is, you can't allow him to defeat you. You can't allow him to get you to a place to where, you know what I'm saying, you can't hear from God. You have to get, you have to position yourself properly to be able to hear from God, to be able to do what he's, you know, what he's called each and every one of us to do. We have to do that. And if we don't, the first thing, you know what I'm saying, we're going to say is, oh, God ain't with me. Well, first off, did you come to him? Right. Secondly, did you not see the devices that, that that Satan already got right. for you. Did you not see it? You know, it, it's like this. People say all the time that, you know, when they get in a relationship, they didn't see this or they didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? Flags were always, all, was already there when you were talking to somebody. Right. Now, here's the thing. Whether you decide or not to stay mm -hmm. is one thing. Whether you decide or not to see those flags is another Nothing. thing. Right. But so many of us, we say, well, I didn't see that. way well, it was there the whole time. Now, when you go back and you recollect and you look, you're like, oh, man. Wait How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Because you were looking at something else. The enemy already had done deterred you to look at this instead of looking at that. This person ain't doing the right thing, but guess what? I ain't focusing on that. I'm focusing on the things that I want because so many of us, we get in our flesh and we like, you know what? This is what I want. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. But then you got this part right here that's feeding your flesh, and it's making you think, oh, man, okay, cool. You know, then I, after a while, you be like, man, it was there the whole time. Well, where, where was you? Yeah. Were you not in that relationship? Did you not see those things? You know what I'm saying? And so many people would get upset and get mad, and they would say certain things about, you know, certain people when they get in relationships and they get mad. Hold on. You ain't thought that when you first got with them, so why are you thinking that way now? First off, look at yourself in the mirror. Ooh, boy. Check out exactly yeah. what you need to focus on and quit allowing your flesh, like Pat said, the word lust. Quit allowing your flesh, that lust of this person in that relationship to deter you from what you need to actually see and hear. You know what you're making me think about? I'm thinking about the times when I messed up, mm -hmm. the times when I failed, mm -hmm. the times when I, I, I kind of... Uh, allow my flesh or my own desires or my lust to get the best of me mm -hmm. and went after that and it cost me. There you go. There but, you go. Uh, but I'm thinking about when I failed, mm -hmm. it cost me. But the way I got up, mm -hmm. it was through the word of God. But mm -hmm. the word of God was there the whole, whole while. I had him in my heart the whole while. Right, But right. I failed to yield to what I know that was true. Exactly. And allow exactly. myself to follow, off, follow behind something that was not true, that was not what mm -hmm. God said. Come but on. But the moment... I, I begin to gather myself. Woo, man, you said the moment I begin so to right uh, the, I, the moment I begin to feel hurt because of how how I felt towards God. Mm, come on, come godly on. sorrows is, is repentance. Come on, come on, repentance. You, it's not sorry that what you did, mm -hmm. but you sorry for how it interrupt your relationship come with on. God. Come on, and, come on, and, and the moment I. I get back, and that's what I like about Ooh. God, RJ. The moment I cry out to him, mm -hmm. the moment he comes in. 
Mm-hmm. And rectify that situation. Mm. He don't come in and keep us down and let us stay down. He know we hurting. Right. He know we sorrowful. Right. He know we need to. We need some strength. He mm-hmm. know we need some ammunition. Right. So he picks us up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He picks us up and put us back on our feet and say. Like your mama used to tell you when you got been in a fight and got whooped up. And you come home and your mama told you, now you get yourself together and you go right back out there. Go right back out and go at it again. But go you, know, at it you again. said something profound when you said that, though. First of all, you already had a foundation. Yes. We allow him, we allow the enemy to get to us. We fall. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. But here is where the miraculous part comes in. That foundation of that word in God. That you had before you fell, recollected and came back, and you were able to get back. That's what I good. like about him. <laughs> that's, he, that's something. So because so many of us, we forget the word. Yes. And we'll go whichever way we go, and now we upset, and now we mad, and now we bitter, and we angry about something that we should just look at and say, you know what? Hold on. God, you already gave me a foundation. Mm-hmm. Okay, I fell. Let me not waddle. Right here where I fell. Because if I fall and I continue to waddle, I'm going to continue to go in circles right where I fell. Right. I ain't going to be able There's to no get recovery. up. Because I can't get up on the word that he's giving me because I'm not leaning on the word. Yes. And, and that, that's so important. That's your only way out. <laughs> that's your own, your own, our only way up is through the word of God. Exactly. And that's why this message is so powerful. That's why so it profound. is. A, it's an offensive. I think Pastor said it like this. It's both an offensive. Mm-hmm. And defensive weapon. Mm-hmm. We can go on the attack, mm-hmm. and it also will shield us. Come on, from the enemy. Come on, fire dots. The word of God. It it will yeah. yeah. protect us. Uh, uh, put us on the defense, like Jesus. Hmm. And, and when he was tempted uh, for right. forty days and forty nights, he had fasted. Then the devil came to tempt him. Hey, if you be the if. And hmm. he was kind of like using the word. That's it. That's if, it. He, he kind of misscrewed that thing and turned that word around on the word. That's it. <laughs> you can't That's trick it. the word with the word. No. Jesus said, if you, if you be, if you be, just in case, mm-hmm. perhaps, maybe, you might be the son of God. Hmm. Uh, why don't you just cast your, throw yourself down off of this, this pinnacle? Mm-hmm. And the word said his angels will protect you. That's okay. it. So you ain't got nothing to lose. Nothing at all. All you got to do is learn how to lean on him. You already got the foundation. Mm-hmm. You already know what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So why not lean on God's word and do it? Because like I said, the word of God is infallible. Mm. It's without error. We know that. We should be living that. But we'll turn around and like, and like better say, our lust, our flesh. We get all discombobulated up, and then we want to get upset. We want to get mad. Like you say, we want to get mad at God. We want to get mad at certain things. Well, you know, think about why people get mad at God, first and, first and foremost. It's because they don't want to. Okay, so so many people take out what they want to take out from the word. Uh huh. You know, okay, but this suits me, but this don't. So now I'm going to get mad at God because I failed to understand, to comprehend, to do what he has already told me to do. Right. So I'm not going to lean on it, but I'm going to lean on this. Right. You know, and a lot of times we, we, we don't look at it as the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But by the pulling mm. down of strongholds, we we war not against flesh and blood. So many of us, we think that. I'm mad at you. Why I'm mad at you? Because you did it. Not. <laughs> I'm mad at you because you. Oh, okay, first and foremost, let, let, let's look at that. I can't be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like this. Jesus had 12 disciples. He knew one was going to betray him. He never, ever made him go away. He kept him there. Jesus knew one was going to betray him. And it had to be. He knew one was going to deny him. It had to be. But he still called him. He, he never say, man, I ain't got time for this. But so many of us, we write off people. We get rid of them. We have to understand that, look, man, that's, yes. that's, that's a spirit. That's not, you know what I'm saying? That's a spirit. And it's not for us to get rid of people. But so many of us do. We, we, it's not, so it's, many of us do, though. And that's a, that is a 
perfect example how Jesus knew <clears throat> the one that was going to betray him, mm -hmm. but he never turned on him. Never turned. Still treated and he him did as what everyone he had else. To do because it was according to the word. According to the word, he knew he knew this one here was going to deny him. But yet, guess what? I'm gonna still walk with you. I'm gonna throw out a. Call. I'm gonna still help. I'm gonna you. still talk to you. But we we so quick to get rid of people for. Yeah, that's. I but know. they hurt my feelings. How you think Jesus felt? He got crucified by these ogres. Yes. The same people who were saying Hosanna, you know, praise God. The same ones crucifying. Right. How you think he felt? We ain't no better. It's because we start walking with God, and we feel like we done got saved, but we doing this and we doing that. Some of us think, oh, we shouldn't go through this. <laughs> what you think you're going to go through? If you crucify Jesus, you already condemn, unless the moment you turn mm -hmm. and come to him. You can be one of those antagonistic mm -hmm, persons mm -hmm. that was against Jesus, the Jews that was out to destroy him. Right, right. All of them didn't stay that on that particular walk. Mm -hmm. All of them didn't enter into that particular gate. True, true. But some of them was affected by the way he withstood all of the shame, mm -hmm. all of the pain, all of the hurt, and he stayed there. And they were so astonished mm -hmm. that they say, this man had to be from God. Had to be. And they had to find out more about him. Mm -hmm. And more people, more people was converted, came to Jesus That's in his it. death. That's it. That's than, it. Than while he was living. That's it. But what was your question? You remember? No. No? Oh, okay. Cool. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> we don't went past that. I, I, want, <laughs> I was hoping you would <laughs> say <laughs> okay, I wanted to hear that question. <laughs> It'll come back. It'll come back to me. But uh, <laughs> wait, look, listen, listen. We can say here, and you know how we do. We can yeah, talk we go all yeah. day. <laughs> We can we can hit this and we can anything else you want to say to the people, man, for we this 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 whole series has been very uh profound to me. And the moment we started on this series, mm -hmm. I've been in lock in tune with this entire series because I realize that I'm in a battle. I, I'm fighting for my own life. I'm fighting for my family. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting for my children. I'm fighting for everyone that I have a connection here. Mm -hmm. And I'm fighting for the members. I'm fighting for the leaders of Truth and Love Ministry. I'm fighting for my pastors. I'm fighting for their families. We That's in a it. fight. I can't just think about myself. Amen. I, I got to think about everything and everyone that's attached to me mm -hmm. and right. I, and I really feel like RJ that we not only do we have a, a responsibility we have a right to defend what belongs to us. That's it. And that's I it. and I I just firmly believe that if God is for us that well, we can, can be ward us? off or we can mm -hmm. defeat the enemy on every turn not with our own weapons come on not with the way we fight the world come on, come on. but with the word of god with that's god's it. word we can withstand every attack from every the attack. enemy that's it. and we got one great offensive weapon that's the word of god come and, on and you know what you can't keep that word in the sheath you can't oh, keep man. that sword in the out. belt you got to you gotta. take it you gotta, you gotta pull you gotta, it you out. Be able to use it. You got to take it, and you got to use this word. Don't come to church Sunday after Sunday, Thursday, and whenever, mm. whenever the doors are open for us to share a word of God. Don't mm -hmm. just come there and just leave it right there where you left off. You got to take this word wow. with you and apply it to your life on Preach. a daily basis. And that's know. what I like because it's charging me up. Yeah. This this whole series is is actually charging me up, yeah. getting me ready because I realize I know I I know we got a battle, a big fight ahead. Oh, yeah. And in every battle, there's winners and there's losers. Yeah, but you know you got to remember this though. For every battle, before a battle, you always have to pre prepare. You know, you can't be so ill prepared. When you go into battle, it's like the military. The military trains. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for that way, when they get to battle, they know exactly what to do when they're supposed to do it. Like an athlete, an athlete trains. 
So when he's out on that field, he can perform at his best. It's the same thing when it comes to the word of God. In order for you to be able to defeat the enemy, you have to train mm -hmm. and read the word, study the word, understand the word. You can't just sit there and say, okay, well, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm read this chapter. The next five minutes, you sleep. sleep. You ain't got past the third verse and you sleep because you, you don't read the first verse again because you didn't understand it. Or, you know, he didn't comprehend what was happening. So we have to be able to train. In order to go to battle, you can't just walk into battle thinking you're going to win if you ain't been, if you ain't no, trained sir. yourself. Uh -uh. And you got to know that word. You got, like you said, you got to pull out that sword. You have to. I mean, but the thing is, is we always have to remember this. We, we, we all are a chosen generation. Royal a, a royal priesthood. We have to be able to walk in the spirit so that way we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh listen man i want y'all to go back and check this message out check out every last one i'm all set weapons of warfare i'm telling you it is awesome it is great hit us hit us up on facebook youtube instagram all our social media sites let us know how much you are enjoying this series man subscribe when you on youtube i mean come on be a subscriber come on and like the page do all those different things let us know hit us up on our website www.truthandlove.tv man get in get into the know i'm talking about when the word is coming forth i'm talking about the word coming forth and it's feed each and every one of us and it's nothing like being in a house being able to hear the word of god man I, hey listen we love each and every one of you guys man we appreciate you guys tuning in checking us out always remember this has been another segment of let's talk about it i'm brother rj this is the esteem my brother big brother jerome Wright. and guess what y'all here, Here comes, comes the, the church. church.